If you are looking for a better career opportunity, so this video is for you. We are going to discuss about a new career opportunity for all the engineering students as well as management students to become a project engineer and trainee engineer. So hello everyone, welcome to Core Screen. Hope everyone is doing good. So your Bharat Electronics Limited BEL has announced some job opportunities for freshers and experienced engineers, degree holders, diploma holders and ITI apprentice. So this is a fantastic opportunity to get a good career in the renowned company. Bharat Electronics Limited has announced almost 170 vacancies in different categories for freshers and experienced engineers. But here we are going to discuss about the upcoming vacancies, upcoming 34 vacancies for trainee and project engineers. So let's start the discussion. Bharat Electronics Limited is an Indian government owned aerospace and defense company and the main product the Bharat Electronics Limited manufacturer is the advanced electronic products for aerospace application and Bharat Electronics Limited is one of the nine PSU under the Ministry of Defense of India. To get a job in Bharat Electronics Limited could be a better opportunity or better starting career opportunity for all the engineering and management students. So BEL has announced 34 vacancies for trainee and project engineers and the last date of application for these posts is 15th December 2022 and these vacancies are on contract basis for Kota Dwara unit for its various project location all over India. If we talk about trainee engineers, so for trainee engineers, there are 15 vacancies and for project engineers, there are 19 vacancies. Now let's talk about the age limit. So for trainee engineers, the age limit is 28 years and for project engineer, the age limit is 32 years. There is an age relaxation for SCST and OBC students also. So for SCST, the age relaxation is 5 years and for OBC, the age relaxation is 3 years. There are different branches in engineering we know. So they have announced different number of vacancies for different different branches. If we talk about electronics and communication and or electronics and telecommunication. So there are eight vacancies for the stream for mechanical engineering, three vacancies for computer science. There is a one vacancy for electrical engineering. There are two vacancies and for civil engineering, it is one vacancies. And this is for trainee engineer one. Now we talk about project engineer. So for electronics and communication and telecommunication, there are 11 vacancies. For mechanical engineering, there are two vacancies and for computer science, there are six vacancies. So for project engineer, only electronics, mechanical engineering and computer science engineering students can apply. Now let's discuss the main part that is the remuneration part or the salary part. So these jobs are contract basis job and these contract can extend till five years. So they are providing a handsome amount of salary for each year and the salary is continuously increasing every year of the contract. So for trainee engineers, they are providing salary in first year, it is around 30,000 and uh, for second year, it is 35,000 and for third year, it is around 40,000 per month. Now if we talk about project engineers, so they are providing a handsome amount of salary uh, for the contract basis. So for first year, the salary would be around 40,000 per month. For second year, it would be 45,000. For third year, it would be 50,000. And till fifth year, it will uh, go on uh, 55,000 per month. So they are providing a handsome amount of salary on contract basis jobs of trainee engineers and project engineers. Now let's see what is the minimum educational qualification they require for the post of trainee engineers and project engineers. So the applicant or the candidate should have BE or BTEC degree from AICTE recognized institute or university in the discipline of uh, electronics engineering and electronics and communication engineering, electronics and telecommunication engineering, mechanical, civil, computer science engineering, etc. So the candidate should have a bachelor's degree from renowned institute which is AICT recognized. It could be institute or it could be university in the concerned discipline. The minimum percentage marks in qualifying examination 
population should be 55% and this is applicable for general OBC and EWS candidate. For SC, SD and PWBD candidate only passing marks are required or pass classes required. If we talk about work experience, so for trainee engineer post, the work experience should be 0 to 1 year and for project engineer post, the work experience should be minimum 2 years. The selection process will be through written test and interview. First, the candidate has to clear the written test and then they can appear for the interview for the further process. Now the question is, how candidates can apply for these posts? So candidate can refer the official website of BEL. Candidate can apply in the prescribed format. They can download the form from the official website and you need to fill all the required information which is given in the form. And you, if you have form, if you downloaded the form, so along with the form, you should have a demand draft and the photocopies document and you need to send all these things what you need to send you need to send the form or filled form along with demand draft and photocopy document you need to send to manager hr and a bharat electronics limited kota dwara Podi garwal uttarakhand and the demand draft amount for the trainee engineers it should be around 177 rupees and for project engineers it should be around 477 rupees and this fees is applicable for general obc and ews candidates there is no fee required for scst pwbd candidates so hope this information is beneficial for you. This is a very good opportunity for all the engineering students and engineering professional to become a part of public sector. This is a very good opportunity for all the engineering students. So grab this opportunity, hurry up. The last date is 15-12-2022 and you can refer the official website for further information. Here I have given you a brief description or brief detail about the uh, application form and detail about the opportunity now, if you have further queries, you can refer the official website of BEL. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Press the like button if you really like the video. Press the subscribe button if you have not subscribed the channel yet. And press the bell icon to get all the notification about the activities and videos of channel. So, thank you so much. See you in next class.